Welcome to Superstitions, Traditions, and Definitions. I'm Kristen. And I'm Carol. Yep. Yep. And it's time. Let's hear it. For Am I the Asshole Historical Edition. Historical Edition. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. You are so nosy. Okay, read fast then. Let's hear it. Okay. I've been here that First, I have to hear about this. And first of I all, I don't know anything about it. I am going to say I try really hard to keep everything way back. Mm -hmm. This is a fairly recent. How recent? The last hundred years? No. In the last 20, oh. like really recent. Okay. So, am I the asshole? For causing over 2,000 marriages to end. Are you a divorce attorney? Yeah. Are you a judge? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you didn't end marriage like that. Or maybe she did. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay. Let's hear. I was born of royal blood in Malawi, a country in East Africa. I'm the youngest of 12, so I never planned on ruling my country. Are these child marriages? I was working my 27-year career uh -huh. as a secretary at college okay. when I was told I had been chosen by the chiefs to serve as Inkasai, or the senior chief, because I was good with people. Fancy. Upon visiting my people, I noticed many young teenage wives holding their babies, some as young as 12 or 13. I understand this is a poor country. However, parents shouldn't feel the need to marry their children off as early as possible to free themselves from the financial burden. Yes. It's unacceptable. Finding out there were institutions teaching young girls how to please their husbands angered me. Indeed. I made my first order of business, closing these marriage camps, annulling all teenage marriages, and enacting a law forbidding marriage before the age of 18. Not the ass. No. We're just going to start there. I know. Yay. Okay, good. Good deal. I know. So, um, these marriage camps, like little girls weren't getting educations. They were going to marriage camp for sexual cleansing. Okay. They couldn't graduate unless they could please the instructor. So that was her first rule of business oh, was yeah. to end no, nothing, that. Nothing self-serving about that at all. Uh-huh. Perfectly reasonable. Um, she worked with NATO and the UN and just anybody she could pull in, pull in to help her country. How heroic. The average income was $11 a week. I mean, okay, so I don't know anything about the cost of living or anything gonna, like yeah. that there, I'm sure. Right. However, that was keeping those families poor. Poor. It, they having were to, considered to poverty. Their, you know. to give over their children. Yeah. Yeah. So she fought hard and has since 2003, mm -hmm. when she gets this call out of the blue while she's being a secretary at a college that was like, oh, hey. Um, Guess what? You're in charge. Get, get, get over here. <laughs> we need some help over mm -hmm. here. Um, so, I mean, that was the first thing she did. She's walking down the street. She is the mother to five children herself. She has boys. All of but her not kids a child are boys. Bride. Right. And she's like, This is why. Why is this happening? And they're it's like, easy to put yourself in that position. Uh -huh. you, know, you know, I, I would not have been in position at 13. Right. It's like, well, they can't afford to keep them. They can't afford to feed them, so they marry them off. And, right. 
Like some of these kids were 12, 13 years old, holding babies, having children. I mean, they weren't marrying them off to adult men. They were teenage, both mom and dad, both teenagers. Like, oh, you look good for my son. You're about the same age. Here's your marriage license. Go yeah. find a house. And <laughs> yeah. So she has been a huge advocate for education Good. and keeping girls in school. Good. Um, she's done amazing things for her country. Her name, her name's Teresa. Okay. Then she has a last name. Did you can't say? Does it have lots of letters in it? It does. There are lots of letters. Kachindamoto? That sounds good. Kachindamoto? You didn't butcher it. That's what it looks like. Okay. Okay. Good deal. So, nice job. At this time, when she took over, the country ranked number eight in um, poverty. Hmm. Like, it was down there. Number eight? Mm -hmm. Out of how many? The countries. Worldwide countries. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay. Um, it was also one of the countries that had the most child marriages. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean... More than half the population had been married before the age of 16. I mean, that happened a lot here, too. It did. You know, you just... It did. We can't afford this or that, you know. <clears throat> and my grandma to... got married at 15. My grandpa was 17 when they got married. Oh, how old was he? 18. My second marriage, I was 20. I mean, hindsight, so I was probably too young. I mean, you realize my yeah. first marriage at 18 lasted not even a year. Right. So right. maybe <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have been making a decision. I was probably too young to make well, that decision. Well, yeah, and that's why you look out for your girls. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, they get married and they right. away. And I mean, I was a legal love. adult. I didn't have to have consent or anything from anybody to get sure. married. I could sign my own name, but still. Not the best idea, right? Just because you know, there's a there's a whole world of things out there that you didn't know how to do, mm -hmm. and you didn't know. No, you just didn't do. No, no. I ended up being mom to JJ, and right. But anyway, yep. that's a whole nother story. It is that that was something good I got out of that marriage. I got to keep JJ. And raise him. Yes. So, um, anyway, back, back to Teresa here. Yes. It was just, let's see, in 2000, so she took over in 2003. It was 2017 before they made it official and passed the law. That Why you did it take so long? Um, she actually, I don't completely understand their government. Okay. Um, everybody is a chief. Essentially, whatever, however it's translated. English, it's translated as chief. Her official title is Inkosai, okay. which we in English are saying means senior chief. She was called by a group of chiefs. Oh, okay. Um, so, like, the, the people didn't vote. This group of chiefs voted. She did not know she was running. <laughs> <laughs> until um, it was bestowed upon her. Until it was bestowed upon her. Look what we're giving you. You're welcome. So, yes. So, but it sounds like the best thing it, that could yeah. have happened. Yeah. So, they called she her. Had the power. And, and it was, you know, family ties because she's part of this family that sure. had been ruling. Here are our 12 options and however mm -hmm. many there are pulled together. We're like, we want that one. Right. We want Teresa. She's good with people. Right. Undoubtedly. Um, Sounds like she nailed it. She did. So I, 
She was living in Malawi, but which is the country. Um, she was living where she was living was called Zombo. And I don't know exactly if it's set up like cities or if it's a country like America is a country with different states. I'm sure, you know. Um, so she had to go back to the essentially capital of this area. Okay. So she gets there. Um, and this is where she's seeing, this is the poor region. This is where she's seeing all these child Child brides. brides. So she's telling the chiefs, the other, I don't know, maybe Congress kind of set up. Anyway, she's telling them, we're going to get rid of this. We're going to do that. And she's like, and if you argue with me, or maybe, maybe it's more like a governor because maybe they're more like governors because she's telling them, you know, if you don't do this in your area and you argue with me about this, I'm stripping you of your power. And she ended up having to strip seven or eight people of their power. And it didn't want to, they didn't want to. So it wasn't until they finally come back to her and say, okay, I've annulled these marriages. You're going to stick by it. Fire everybody. For her. That for was her the thing. She's like, like you and all the marriages in your area that are child marriages, just real quick, or your did, power is stripped. Did everybody want theirs annulled? I mean, you know, some folks might have not minded their situation, might have the right. person they were. You know what I mean? And you know, that's I mean, a like possibility. A, like a, like a big broad, you know huge annulment of everybody, like a mass annulment. The way it sounds, it was just straight across the board, mass annulment. Now, she didn't no, I, say I, you I, can never talk to that person oh, again. Sure. or oh, sure, but you have the freedom to yeah. which way you're going to go if you're going to get married. You know, whatever, something like that. Right. I just wondered, I'm sure that, you know, we're going to, let, let's say 98% hated it, unless the 2% are like, you know, my life is a lot better than it was. You and know, that, I mean, and and I mean, we don't know. We don't live in that kind of society where, you know, you're just told, okay, well, here you are, you're getting married, right? You know, I, I can't imagine. But you yeah. know, on the one hand, I I'm think sure I would was... sell mine off to the circus before I married them <laughs> off myself. But... Sell your kids off to the circus. Married them. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. Circus travel. There's all kinds of. Mm, that's true. Hmm. At least if they're married and they live across the street. Right. Around. Right. And then, you and know, yes. you don't know what. No. And, you know. The, it wasn't a, I'm, I need to get rid of this kid. Mm-hmm. It was, I have three other kids that are starving yeah. that right. I can't feed. I just can't handle this let's, one, let's and this is at the age this to household over yeah. Here and then we have less, and then in you know, actuality we'll have more. Uh huh. This kid is old enough to take care of herself or yeah. himself, and, and they're really not. And you uh-uh. know, I don't know. It's bad. No, it's I mean, I I, I have a twelve year old. My my middle daughter is my oldest daughter is eighteen. My middle daughter is twelve. I can't look at either one of those kids and be like. You got this. You've got life. Yep. Go get it. Go get it. Yeah. No, my yeah. oldest is 24, and he still is like, Mom, what do I do? You know? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, here. Let me help you out. Let me tell you. You need direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I'm sure those parents were, you know, offering advice. Or right. And, you know, they, there, were, there were cultures where they you know, sold off their children because, you know, the mm-hmm. money, I mean, and it's, it's just horrible. It's just horrible all the way around. Yeah. I mean, that and happened folks, here even. Yeah. Some folks are extremely, you know, upset about it. And some folks are like, eh, you know, it just depends mm-hmm. on the person and the situation and the yeah. intent behind things. I mean, I'm not saying I'm for it because I'm not at all. Like, well, I would, I would, you know, talk to I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not conveying what I want to say. I know I, I do get what you want to say. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I mean, okay, they're 17 year old kids now. Mm-hmm. 
to maybe let them if they're happy. Yeah, let them. But, yeah, if if they do, but if if, if they don't want. To I'm stay. thinking those 12 and 13 year olds that oh, are yeah, married. No, God, they no. had oh, no, no choice. No, no, it no, was no. you are an old. If you guys want to marry again later in six years, more power oh, to you. Yes, but right yes, now, yes. your kids no, no, go no, be yeah, kids. No, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. If you're if you're teenagers, you're, 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 you know, I'm sure that there was considerations for that. Sure. I'm sure she made considerations for that. For those who are old enough to kind of. Yeah. But yeah, no, no, no. For those who are 10 and 12 and 14. No. Which could be also yeah. why the. Did they have. It took 14 where, years to make where, the official law. Where did they go? When they got an old, what happened? She had. What uh, conventions? Um, Did she make provisions for them? Have she worked to towards it. Of, like, Most of them went back home to their families, well, and she worked with the families on the importance of education yeah. and funding education yeah. and oh, okay. helping no. raise the great good. So it's not something I'm versed in. So the questions that come to mind right away are the things that I blurt out there. I mean, I can't imagine. But you know, you can't imagine that a twelve-year-old can get married to a fifteen-year-old. Mm -hmm. In any, I mean, if you're if you're fifteen or seventeen or twenty, whatever you are, you know, if you're, I mean, I went to school with a lot of girls who you know, wanted to go to college and wanted to be doctors, but I also went to school with girls who just wanted to be mothers, mm -hmm. and I was neither one of those. You know, I I I didn't like children. I like my children, and then right. you know that's now I I like most. Children. You know, I certainly that was not my goal was I just want to get married and have children and but you know, there there are those people on every mm -hmm. side of the of the conversation. Right. Right. And I'm sure there was a lot of freedom and a lot of people were really happy. Right. But you also have to understand that this was tradition in this region. So sure. there's a lot of people who are mad. Oh yeah. Oh dude. I'm and sure. there are a lot of thirteen, fourteen year olds kids. Sitting around going, you know, I had, I don't have to be here with mm -hmm. mom. Um, so it is still legal with parental consent there. Right. Whereas before it was just, you know, go on and oh, get your no. marriage license. <laughs> no. um, just because it, it was a way of life. Yeah. No, I get that. Yeah, so. Right. She didn't wipe it away completely, which is why I think she probably took into consideration those, case by case. yeah, those kids that are 17 but have been married for five years or six years or whatever. And they're like, you know, I'm, I'm okay in my situation. Uh huh. Not that you wanted it 12, you know, not that they would have their children married off 12. I mean, because that's right. the start of the chain. Right. So, yeah. Um, yeah. There was a lot of generational curses broken. Oh, but for sure. A lot of people saw that as a generational blessing, ne not necessarily a curse. Sure. So, um, but look, I found you a husband. Yeah. Are you not grateful? No, no, not really. I think I'd rather go to school and mm -hmm. learn some math. But she, you know, she fixed that part. Now it's the kids. The kids get to marry who the kids choose to marry, and mom and dad aren't. Right. You know, the neighbor's boy looks. Like you'll be able to provide. <laughs> yep. Yep. They've got a garden. He's got a horse. Yep. So the things that you look at and go, hey, you know, and, and I'm sure some had their children's best interests and some did not. Right. You know, it's always, it's, I mean, is, is it 50, 50 and, or 60, 40? Yeah. I mean, I would like to think that a majority of the folks had their kids' best interests at heart. Mm -hmm. And well, I was married off at 14, you know, and, and, my 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 mom was thirteen when she got you know I'm, I'm sure yeah. they looked back at things and you know this is just how it was done like right. we look back to things like this is just how it's done I don't know why it, this is why it's done you know when did this start and mm -hmm. who decided this was a good idea sure. but I get it I mean it was a good idea here for a while too well back in the day when yeah. you had you had a little village and mm -hmm. I mean some people. It's where they can branch out. And in ancient Egypt, it was a good idea to have babies with your sister. No, I don't think that's what it was like. We don't know. They didn't have a problem with it, did? Well, I don't know. Maybe they, they just they tried to keep the blood deeper, is what I think they were mm -hmm. trying to do. If we're all 
we all have the same blood. It's all going to be fine. Yeah. And then you end up with club feet. And bad bones and birth defects. And uh -huh. Spread those genes out just a little bit. A little. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hair. A little bit. Thank you. Have the babies with your half sister, not your biological sister. Right? That's what you're saying. Not exactly, but you know, if that's how you want to take it, <laughs> by all means, you take it. That's how it. King Tut took it. Well, yeah, I know, but that was our other episode. That's not this episode. Oh, that's right. What are we doing? We're getting away from this. We're, we're. I mean, we're in Africa. Yeah, true. Sure. Egypt is in Africa, but we're not in Egypt right now. No. Get back to it. We are in Malawi. Come on, sis. Pull your head out. I'm trying. No, you're not even. Mm -mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nope. So anyway, see, not Definitely the asshole. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. To us, she probably uh, was. She very to, well could have been to her people for I'm, a minute. I'm sure for some of them, I worked hard to arrange this marriage. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's for difficult. It is. It's difficult. So, I think we should. With that, it's difficult, but I think she did a good thing. I mean, and she asked for help. She brought in other countries, right. and you know, this is how they're doing it. And hey, we, we need we give need us some, some guidance. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Made education important. Like, I don't know what to do, but I know what I don't want to do. I don't want to marry off wealthy or children. I mean, the way it sounds in the articles I read was she put a lot of thought into it. She oh, didn't just walk I in imagine. and be like, "Go home." Yep. Go back to your mom. Yep. You're too young to play. Back to the sixth grade. Uh huh. Yep. It was, you know, oh, for sure. a lot of talking to her people saying, I know this is scary, but. Yeah. She must have been quite. Committed. Uh huh. But, you know, if this was me or this was my kid, I would not be thrilled with this. I'm not right. thrilled with it. I'm not thrilled with it for these people. Mm hmm. But alone, to let it continue. Yeah. Not the asshole. <laughs> I mean, it sounded like, Decided. why can I think of the word? What are we talking about? Speeches. Um, like State of the Union kind of yeah. things. She had several of those. Like conferences? Conferences of, you know, I know. We're all going to meet here. Uh -huh. come. We're going to talk out our ideas. Right. And, and why we here's why that. education is important. And sure. here's why, you know, our country is so poor. And. Let's do this. We have and, our kids get older before they get married. Right. And they know some things. If they they're can, not popping out babies at 12 years old. Right. Then they're not having to worry about feeding a baby at 12 years old. And, right. They can take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. and they could be a doctor instead yes. of a, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. so. Poverty-stricken person who keeps having children and uh -huh. having to marry them off. Yeah. And definitely not wanting that. I mean, I can't anybody wanting that for their child. I'm sure some are like, please get out of my house. Troublemaker. Mm -hmm. I mean, I joke all the time about <laughs> <laughs> about your kids. About my kids. <laughs> like, uh, I have eight more years on my sentence. <laughs> oh, mercy. Mine's However. Getting, mine's getting shorter all the time. So. However, those kids know they can stay at my house as long as they need to. Yep. But Anyway, that's beside the point. Yep, that makes I you have the, the means asshole. to do that. Right, exactly. You just have to if I was off. living in this area at, you know, 20 years ago, yep. I might not have had the means to say to my 18-year-old daughter, you can stay home when you graduate well, high school. Well, if you were here back then, you would have had her already married off. And more than likely. Mm -hmm. It's sad. She's definitely so, not the asshole No, to she us. isn't. And she is Maybe loved by her people. Oh, I bet. I bet. So. Women especially. I mean, you know, if they're young men getting married, too, I'm sure they did. Mm -hmm. You know, they probably wanted to go to school as well. They right. They wanted a better life as well. And The way it sounded sounds from the articles I've read, it was still an option for the men to continue their education. Oh. However, the women had to stay home. And take care of the house and raise the babies. and Like we do. Yeah. I mean, it was a more traditional. We're good at it. Yeah. Yeah. Not I know asshole. the focus as far as education with the articles I've read. The focus for education was for girls. Because mm -hmm. they, ha they had zero choice. Right. You know, this boy had, had choice. Maybe he didn't want to. Maybe he did want to. 
And house. maybe he did continue his education after he was married, but from the average uh, education level for girls in that area was between third and fifth grade. Oh, you haven't learned anything good by then. I mean, social studies and things like that were mm -hmm. awesome for our school. I mean, things I learned. Right. But you really, I mean, you didn't learn anything about life until a little bit later. Mm -hmm. You're just worried about recess. Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely not the answer. Definitely not. We're going to say she's the answer. I know. And her people love her. I love her, too. So, you know, I mean, you would think going in and changing something so major. Right. And it's like saying, hey, you know what? We're going to do it with Christmas. You know, right. Our culture, something that's so big and so ingrained. We're just not going to have this anymore. And people are like, what? You, yeah. know, you watch me. I mean, there was some opposition, but eventually. Sure. Oh, I believe that. There was, I think, seven um, chiefs. I don't know. I'm thinking more like a governor kind of thing. Gotcha. That were like, I ain't doing it. Mm. And she stripped them of their power, and they eventually yeah. came back and was like, okay, I stamped okay. that annulment. Can I, have my, can, I, can I have my shit back? Yeah. Can, can I, I have can my I title? Mm -hmm. Good. Good for her for having so. the wherewithal to do that. Right. Oh, you want to play? We'll play. We're going to cut you out and you can go over here and play off your children. That's right. Hmm. Interesting. 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 All right. Join us again on Tuesdays for Superstitions and on Saturdays for Am I the Asshole Historical Edition. Right on. Mm -hmm. Come join us. Tell us what you think. All of it. Everything. We want to know. Ev we no, we don't. Know. Uh, not everything they think. Well, Pertaining well, to this episode, tell okay, us. Okay, pertaining to this episode and the one before and the one coming after. You All know. of them. Yeah, let us know. Mm -hmm. We do it for you. We do. Mm -hmm. And for me, because yes. I'm kind of selfish. But, <laughs> I'm I mean, along for the ride. That's why I don't She's along anything. for the ride. Along for the ride. She's along for the ride. I did this for me, and I'm glad you're entertained by it. Very. <laughs> Aren't we all? All right, mm -hmm. peace out. Until next time. I know you keep wanting me to say it, but now it's just difficult. Love you. Have a fondness. Yes, she does. Uh -huh.